You know what's really great? Automation. Anytime you can take something that would otherwise have been a manual task and automate it, that is something you should leverage, right? And if you use PlanetScale, one of the things that you might not be leveraging right now are the webhooks that you can set up with your database. PlanetScale supports webhooks to notify you of a bunch of different kinds of events. So you can get notified when an anomaly takes place, when a new branch is created, when a new deploy request is created, a bunch of different things. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can set up an integration where anytime one of those things happens on your database, you automatically get a notification in your Slack channel. In order to make this work, we're going to use some code that our CEO Sam and I actually already wrote and put together to get this integration to work. So you can check that out over here, uh, or also I have a fork of it right here that we're gonna poke at, and I'm gonna show you API and then index.ts. So this is already written, but let's just go through it real quick so you can kind of see what's going on, and then we'll deploy this both to a Vercel application and also your own virtual machine or whatever you want, it can be deployed to that as well. So we've got some imports, we've got some environment variables, uh, and let's go down to a couple of the key components here. So there's this send Slack message function. This uses the Slack um, module over here and allows you to send messages as long as you've set up your basically bot token correctly, which I'll show you how to do and how to get. Then down here, this function is used to verify a signature uh, for when you get a webhook notification from PlanetScale. There's some documentation that talks about that. I'll link that down below, but you wanna make sure that you always verify those messages as they come in. And then here is kind of the key route. So when something is posted to the server at slash webhook, it'll do a verification. If the verification passes, it'll check what kind of uh, webhook event we got. And depending on which one it is, send a Slack message with the appropriate string in it. And this is something that if you fork this yourself, you can modify the message to be whatever you want. Uh, and then down here, there's some code. Do If you do want to deploy this on a standalone server, it can start up an HTTPS server for you. Um, but it also just export the application so that it can be used when it's deployed to Vercel. Now, a couple next steps. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a Slack workspace set up. I already have a testing one set up right here. So I'm gonna send messages to this one. And then you're gonna to need to set up a Slack app. So in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to, I should already have it open here, your uh, api.slack.com slash apps. And if you don't already have one created, go ahead and click create an app. Uh, have one created from scratch. I'm gonna call this Planet Scale Web Hooks App and then a workspace. So I'm gonna have it go to my Slack apps workspace and I'm gonna click create app. Okay, so there's not a whole lot that you have to do in here, but there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to set up. One is you're gonna to need to go to OAuth and permissions and add a couple of permissions down in the scopes. So specifically, you're gonna want chat write and chat write customize. And I'm gonna add chat right down here as well. Uh, but these are the main two that you're gonna need, so make sure you have those so that this application has permission to send messages to your application. And then also one of the things I'm gonna do is go back to basic information and it can help to give each one of your apps its own distinct icon. So I'm gonna go uh, grab the, actually over here, app icon, I should already have it downloaded. And then on the desktop i'm going to get that planet scale logo open that up and so that way whenever the messages get sent it'll show that it came from this planet scale webhooks app and the logo will be easily identifiable okay so i've got this set up and then the other thing that you're going to need is when you go down to oauth and permissions you're going to need to click install to a workspace so here i'm going to install it to my workspace allow let this go <clears throat> and then it's installed so later on in the video, we're going to need to grab this bot user OAuth token. We're gonna to put it in an environment variable. So I'll grab that later on, but that's where you'll need to come back to to grab that. The next step is to go to Vercel and deploy our project to that. So that's gonna act as the server that can actually receive the webhooks from PlanetScale and then send them off to Slack. So I'm gonna go over to Vercel, make sure you have a project set up and I'm gonna add new project. And then over here, I'm gonna import from a Git repository. So I'm gonna import from planet scale to Slack, say import, and then I'm gonna give this a name. So we'll just actually use the planet scale to Slack, 
other root directory, and I'm just going to say deploy, basically leaving it at the default settings. Okay. So it's got no custom settings applied. It's working on deploying that. But the other thing that we're going to need to do is set a few environment variables. Because if you recall back over here, this webhooks code does rely on a couple of environment variables, the Slack bot token, the Slack channel that you want to post to. I'm just going to have it posted general. And then the planet scale webhook secret, which we're going to have to grab from planet scale. So back over to Vercel. It looks like, let's see, it's refreshed. All right, it's got the project. So continue to dashboard. Now to set these environment variables, and it did deploy correctly, but I'm gonna go over to settings and then I'm going to go to environment variables and you can add some new ones over here. So one of them is the Slack channel and I'm just gonna set this to general. And then what was the other one called? So uh, Slack bot token. So I'm gonna copy this, but this is that token that I mentioned before. So I'm gonna put this here, go back over to Slack and grab this bot user OAuth token, paste that there. And then lastly, the planet scale webhook secret. So this is gonna come from planet scale. So let me put that there. And I need to grab this when I go create the webhook and planet scale. So I'm gonna go create this for my uh, chat database. So if you go over to settings, webhooks, this is where you can add a new webhook. So I'm gonna add a webhook. I'm gonna have it just notify me of all the different kinds of uh, events that it supports. And then the URL it's going to post to is gonna be my Vercel URL. So let's actually go back to the project here. It gave me this URL, so I'm going to have it post here and then you add slash. We'll do that over here. So it's going to go here slash web hook because that's the route that it's listening on for web hooks. So I do that. I hit save web hook and then what you're going to want to do is show the secret. So this right here is that secret. Copy it and paste this into that Vercel environment variable. So now I'm gonna save that. Those environment variables have been added successfully. I'm gonna go back over to just the project and you can see that it deployed successfully. I need to go add the application to the channel that I want it to send messages to. So switching over here in the general channel, you can go up to the members and you can go to, um, let's see, about or integrations, that's it. Add an app and I'm gonna say add at that planet scale web hooks app. So now that is in there. I'm gonna go back and try this again. Test the webhook, response 500 still. I was able to get it working by doing two things. So one was adding the application to the channel like I showed. And then the other one is just rebuilding on Vercel. It may have been that it was out of sync since I had added those environment variables. So just force a redeploy. And as you can see, now it works. I'll send another test webhook and I'm getting a response 200, so that's good. But what I can also do is go over to Slack now and you can actually see that I received some of these test webhook messages. So it's successfully basically taking a message when PlanetScale detects one of these events, it sends it to the Vercel server, the Vercel server notifies a Slack server, and then the Slack application sends a message to this channel. And that's what we're seeing here. Great. So now I'm going to go back to planet scale and try something else. So I'm going to go over to branches. I've got this webhook branch here and I'm going to go, let's see, create a deploy request for this. And it takes a couple of seconds just for it to load up and make sure it's deployable. Now that I see that I should be able to go back to Slack and it added a message in here that a, uh, I opened webhooks five against chat slash main. And I can do other things. So if I go and I close this deploy request, I should go be able to go to Slack and see that I closed that. And so for a bunch of these different kinds of events, you can get notified here, which can be really useful, right? Especially if your team is working in Slack all the time. If you just have a feed that is notifying you of all the changes that are happening in your database, or if there's anomalies, you'll be able to see the state of your database pretty easily by just staying in Slack. And if there are problems like an anomaly, you'll be able to get notified quickly, jump in and address those things. So that's it running on Vercel. Let's also see how you could do this if you just wanted to spin up your own virtual machine and deploy to that. What I'm gonna use for this example is DigitalOcean. So over here, I've got my DigitalOcean uh, droplet already set up here. I've called it PlanetScale Webhooks. 
and this is what I'm going to log into and use to basically start up the server. And this is nice if you just want to manage your own infrastructure more. So back over to the repository page and then I'm gonna put this side by side here. So I'm actually already SSH'd into this PlanetScale webhooks server. And what I'm gonna do is check out this code or clone the repository. And then from there, uh, we'll try some stuff out. So the repository is here. And I've actually already installed a number of dependencies like Node and NPX and a bunch of stuff like that. So if you're starting this from total scratch, you're gonna to wanna to make sure and come down to these instructions and you know install all of the appropriate just requirements on your system in order to be able to run an application like this. So let's say npm uh, install, make sure that the dependencies get installed here. And then I'm also going to need to create environment variables for this. So I'm gonna actually create a dot env environment here and I wanna set up, some of these are the same ones from uh, the Vercel setup. So planet scale webhook secret, I'm gonna go back over to planet scale and change, let's see, oh, my menu here, some webhooks, and then I'm gonna get the secret and copy this and paste it there. So that's my first setting, and then there's a couple other things. So the bot token, this is that same token from Slack, so I'm gonna copy that there. After this, I need to specify the channel. So Slack channel, I'm gonna have it post to general. And then for this one, there's two other things to select. So one is simply setting the mode to standalone. And this is basically so that, uh, did I spell that right? Standalone, yeah. So this is so that there, there's an if statement in the code where if you have the environment variable set to standalone for the mode, it'll actually start up an independent HTTPS server. So I've set the mode to standalone, and then the next thing I need to do is set the credentials path. So this is for uh, if you're going to run an HTTPS server, you need a certificate. And so this is for those credentials. And I've already done the work of using CertBot and Let's Encrypt to set up uh, some credentials. And so I also already have a domain that I have picked that I've already set up the DNS to point at the IP address of this server. So this is called planetscalewebhooks.pro. And that's where the domain that's gonna to point to this and that's also the directory where those certificate files live. Like it says here, if you wanna set this up yourself, you're gonna run this npx command. So basically starting up this server and because I have that environment variable set, it should start it up as a standalone HTTP server. Oh, it's saying I need to install TSX, get that installed. And now it has said server started. So now we have a standalone HTTP server. And if I go to, let's see, planet scale uh, webhooks.pro, you can see it says, no, thank you. And that's what it should say on the landing page. And then uh, this right here, it cannot get because that's this path uh, should only receive post requests. So going back over here, I am gonna just actually modify this existing one here and change the URL. So instead of pointing at the Vercel URL, I'm gonna point it at my custom domain. And again, this domain here, I've already set up the DNS where it will point to this DigitalOcean droplet that I have. And so this droplet will receive these webhooks from PlanetScale and it will notify Slack's API and then Slack will send me a message in my workspace. So save that webhook. Server's running, let's see if I do a test now. Sending test webhook, I got the response of 200. And going back over to Slack, you can see that I just got the test notification right here, but this time it was routed through my own DigitalOcean droplet rather than being routed through the Vercel deployed application. So I'll go back again and do a couple of things on here. So I'll go over to the branches and look at this webhooks one and I'll create a deploy request and you should be able to see live right over here. Right? I got that notification or that message. I'm gonna close this deploy request and live right over here, it shows me that it's closed. And like you saw in that list, there's a bunch of other actions that this would notify me of uh, in my Slack channel now that I have configured this. There you go. That is how you can set up a Slack integration with your PlanetScale database. Feel free to fork that code. And if you have ideas for how to improve it, feel free to create an issue or even make a PR, implement it yourself. 
Thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here, watching this on the Planet Scale channel. If you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure and subscribe, like the video, and I will talk to you in the next one.